Welcome! E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on, guys? It is OGC here. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at, uh, in my opinion, world record wall damage coming out from Super Bob. So, Super Bob was able to do 57 million damage to a wall. You heard that right. 57 million damage to, to a wall. Um, when we look at the damage from everything, we, we can just see millions and millions of damage coming out from, from all of the snipers. Uh, we get we get a little bit of hero damage as well. Did Avalon do any? Avalon almost did. Uh, <laughs> it, he, he was there. He was there in spirit. Um, so let's check out uh, what Super Bob used for, for this setup and uh, check out his formation. So we can see that he put out a bunch of heroes because the heroes, you, you can place three heroes uh, for the same space as a sniper. So he actually put out uh, a, a bunch of heroes that, that can put out some, some additional damage. No turtle. But he did go with the Mana Worm. You can see on the, the right hand side he has the, the Mana Worm, then Talk, then, then his Dragon. And that looks like uh, 3, 6, 9. Um, so that should be 10 packs of Snipers. Uh, he has do Double Grims. Um, crazy, crazy stuff. Avalon's there to buff up as many Snipers as he can. So let's go, uh, let's go check, check everything. He has a Siege Pants uh, <laughs> as his dragon, which is a level 50 Topaz. It should have one, two... Okay, so it has three of the um, purple abilities. It's missing Barbarianism, uh, which would offer a little bit more crit. Um, and it also has Blessed True Shot. So it's got True Shot, um, the range bonuses as far as the purples, and Fortitude. So th that's actually really good. As far as Super Bob Snipers, he has 8-star equipment on them. And if we look look at their stats, it looks like uh, their accuracy is 64%. I'm pretty sure you, they, they don't miss walls. Um, he has a pretty good crit rate, and his crit hit damage is up pretty high. His attack speed coefficient is actually really, really high. It's at 2.0, so his snipers attack super fast, which makes sense because this is super Bob. So... Um, He has a Mana Worm, uh, and he has his, his Rufio, I'm pretty sure, yeah, so his Prisms are all set up to, to benefit uh, his, his troops. Um, Avalon is there, he does have the plus one to Warhorn, the, the Divine Ring for more range damage to the stuff around it. Um, Elena is also going to have the, the troop attack stuff. Um, Virian is there because he looks awesome. He has his Raxius, and his Raxius is set up uh, to boost up the, the attack speed of everything. He has Grims, who also has the extra attack damage for, for the, the snipers. Nora, Nora even has uh, the troop attack stuff on it, so he's not going with a, a true ruby uh, Nora for this, uh, which that almost th throws me off a little bit. He has the bonus to troop attack stuff on Jax as well. His Grims, he does have the uh, the Mirror of, of Reality, so he can have two Grims out there. He'll have a clone one. He has the plus one for uh, the reload, so he can reload by 100% of everything out there. His Denji is there for weakening armor and all, all that other good stuff. Um, talk. I want to see his uh, talk, talk abilities. So he has... Uh, okay, so this is the biggest thing, is having max out pro Prolific Trance. That's going to help him out the, the, the most with all of this. Uh, he has his Belrog, and his Belrog also has all troop attack stuff on. Uh, Bazrix is there, Cezeo is there, and he also has the new one, Solaris. Um, so let's just see the damage again. So he's at 2.6 million damage from his snipers. Uh, we saw his PvP stuff earlier in, in this week, and his PvP stuff was not quite as high. So you can see how big of a boost from having his, uh, his purple dragon out with a true shot, and also from having... Uh, all of his prism set up for troop attack. So let's uh, let, let's jump on in and see how this goes. All right, so uh, it's really hard to find really big walls, but this wall has uh, 83 million health on it. Uh, this is an emperor wall, and uh, it looks like Super Bob is, is doing the bad splits. He started off with uh, I think that was the sniper du duplication from the uh, mirror. Um, now he's dropping down the. Uh, Raxius Lanterns. He, he did two of them from what, what I could tell so that uh, he has the healing and attack damage Lanterns down underneath uh, all of the uh, Snipers and the aura around Raxius is going to boost the the attack speed unless he did all three and I miss it 
Uh, his snipers are doing a ton of damage. Remember, we started in the 80s as far as like millions of damage. He does the Jack Spray and Prey because, uh, well, why not? Nora is now out of everything. We can see his Mana Worm is still back there. He won't pop that till, till the end. Um, tons of damage coming out. So he's already done over 10 mil million wall damage. He still has over a minute left. Uh, he now uh, pops one, the artifact that is on, uh, that might actually be Jax that, that, no, Jax has the staple. Forget who that's on, but he popped it. Uh, his Nora is still do doing damage. He does the first Grimm's Reload. So now we're going to see a lot more da damage coming out because um, everybody has ammo. So they can all unload at the wall. Uh, Super Bob is doing the spins from Rufio. That's going to trigger the Prolific Trance coming out from Talk, uh, which is going to be like a mini turtle buff. It, it has depreciating value over time, but it's still going to offer more and more damage. Uh, it's now 48 seconds left in the fight. Everything's uh, as far as like uh, ammo is uh, starting to get depleted. The Mana Worm is still back there. He won't pop that towards uh, the end. So everything is down to one shell left. He does his second reload, and I betcha the Mana Worm's going to pop soon. So when the Mana Worm pops, we're going to see a ton of damage coming out. The wall is at 56 million health. Now it is dropping down a little bit lower, 55. Mana Worm is now popped, and let's let's just watch the, the, the wall health just drop. It's now at 50, 49 million. So each one of those drops, that's millions. So now he's at 46 million, 45 million, 44 million. It is plummeting at this point in time. Most of the damage from the wall is going to come from the end due to the Mana Worm. And we can see it right here, uh, where it's almost like each second, almost a, a million wall damage is, is dealt. Um, let's actually try it real quick. So it's 17 seconds at 37 million, 16 at 36, 15 is at 36. So it's maybe one and a half seconds for a million wall damage with the, the Mana Worm uh, co coming out and, and offering that huge buff. Remember, he started off, this was over a, a 80 million health wall. This is one single attack. One single attack. So he's actually able to do absolutely amazing as a uh, as a dwarf player go going up against it. So it went from 82 or 85 million health down to uh, 26 million health. Um, ridiculous. 25 million. So let's go check out that damage one, once more because this is... Uh, I think that this might actually be like, like a world record as, as far as like uh, wall damage. You, you can see it. It's uh, at uh, 50... 57 million damage ridiculous ridiculous stuff so uh make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button to support super bob we'll pull up the the formation again so if you guys want to feel free to screenshot it uh super bob is an amazing person i'm, I'm super glad he, he's with us and a uh, super active player in in the the community itself so good job super bob i'm glad that that you were able to uh do this um 57 million damage to the wall insanity absolute insanity so make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button subscribe if you have not subscribed already go check out the description of this video and all the videos there's a bunch of cool stuff down there such as the discord facebook uh merch store patreon page if you want to further support the channel go for it thank you to the patrons that are out there and i look forward to seeing you guys soon super bob you're amazing man